Hey guys, Joser here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video review. So this time I have the Cinebeam HU70 LA, which is a 4K HDR capable projector that is not ultra short throw, but it is one third of the price from the HU85 LA. So if you're looking for a 4K projector that has great features and beautiful picture, this video is for you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Joster and let's do this. All right, so my first impression is the size. When I reviewed the HU85 LA, that projector was huge. Then I received this unit and it looks tiny, which I already like, and it's very lightweight as well, so that's a plus. It measures 12 and a half inches by around eight inches by almost four inches tall. So it's very portable if you want to take it outside or with friends and family and enjoy a large screen anywhere. Another thing I like is the clean design. It's very simple and minimalistic. In the front, there is only the projector lens. There are ventilations on each side of the unit. In the back, you'll find the power port, a sensor, optical port for audio, LAN port for internet, the antenna or cable connection, a 3.5 millimeter port, two USB ports and a USB type C, and two HDMI 2.0 ports with ARC support. On top, you'll find a power button, navigation arrows, and zoom and focus adjustment. The projector can display from 60 up to 140 inch screen size. In my case, I'm displaying 80 inches from just around nine feet away, and the picture looks amazing. Something that was very handy to me is the zoom and focus options. You can easily adjust the screen size by simply zooming in and or out with the slider and then adjusting the focus. Now this is not a native 4K unit. It uses XPR technology or expanded pixel resolution to achieve 4K, but trust me, it has a very sharp and crisp image. Everything look very detailed and colorful. Now another great feature is the four channel LED wheelless technology. You see, conventional projectors utilize a color wheel to reflect colors from one light source. The HU70 LA separates the RGB primary colors and can express vivid picture with virtually no color loss and without the rainbow effect. This, in combination with 92% of DCI P3 color space coverage, was very noticeable, especially with animated movies and video games. I also noticed the brightness. The projector uses an LED light source that is rated at 1500 ANSI lumens, which makes it great even under some ambient light, although it worked better in a dark room. Also, LG claims that this LED light can last up to 30,000 hours without losing its brightness. That means that if you use this projector for 8 hours a day every single day, it can last you up to 10 years without replacing the bulb. That's a long time. Now, when it comes to gaming, this projector has auto low game latency mode, which I wasn't expecting it, but that's great that it has it included. This allows you to play games with a low input lag. I tested Forza Horizon 4 and felt responsive. I didn't notice any lag and the gameplay was very smooth. I also play Call of Duty Modern Warfare and even though it looked beautiful, the gameplay was also very smooth and responsive. Not as fast as my monitor or my 4K TV, but it was very enjoyable. Another thing I love about the projector is the operating system. Similar to the HU85 LA, it uses LG's WebOS and ThinQ AI, which has lots of features, applications, smart assistant, picture setting options. It is basically a smart TV on a projector. It even has a built-in TV tuner. I also love the remote. It's LG's Magic Remote, which you can use the pointer or as a regular remote controller. And it also has Google as voice assistant. Show me action movies.
Show me movies with Vin Diesel. Here are the search results for movies Vin Diesel. <clears throat> what movies are playing at the movie theater? When it comes to audio, the projector has a built-in speaker that sounds very good in my opinion, but of course, it sounds better when you connect it to a sound bar or a home theater, and for that, you have different options like optical, Bluetooth, or HDMI. I suggest you use HDMI and let your home theater decode the audio to take advantage of Dolby Atmos. In my case, I have the Nakamichi Shockwave Elite, and I decided to use the Bluetooth function to see how it works, but honestly, the sound wasn't that great when you play movies, so it's better to use HDMI or optical connections. Alright guys, so I really like this projector. It has beautiful picture quality, it is very bright, easy to use, great operating system, and also great motion engine. It's using True Motion by LG, and movies look very smooth and clean. But of course, it's not perfect. One feature that is missing is 3D which I find very odd because I feel that like 3D is essential in projectors, but oh well, that is just my opinion. And also, I don't like that now I have to deal with a power brick. I know that this is why it's much smaller, but honestly, I'd rather have it built in and than drag it around when I'm moving the projector. But either case, I don't think this is a deal breaker, so this projector is amazing. You can buy this projector for $1,800, but it is on sale right now for $1,650, and it basically has the same functions as the H285LA, with of course, one being an ultra short throw, and with this, you'll need a much bigger space. So if you want to save some money and have a similar experience, this projector is a great choice. But anyways guys, this has been my review of the Cinebeam HU70LA 4K HDR projector, let me know in the comment section what features you look for when buying a projector. The HU85LA Ultra Short Throw sells for $6,000, so price-wise, this is a much better choice. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this kind of content, and consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell button so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.